you all for joining us on this adventure as Jonah and Matt travel from Kentucky and Tennessee to the great state of Idaho in their quest to hunt black bear and enjoy God's beautiful creation in the backcountry wilderness on the canyon breaks of the river of no return. This is their hunt. Well, good morning, y'all. We are here on a uh, bear hunt. I've got uh, two, well, there's four buddies from Kentucky and Tennessee area. They come over here, two are bear hunting and two are just here for the fun of it. So um, it's still snowed in pretty good. We're gonna try to cut our way in. Um, three guys are, have already been, they're already down in here. Jonah and I are getting in late, but yeah, he didn't sleep very well last night. We left it, but we got up about midnight 15, I think right about and then left um, about midnight 45 so anyways we'll hit the road here we're gonna try to take the four-wheeler in a little ways so we don't have to walk as far um, and then I think we got about a 10-mile hike from there so we'll see you on the trail <laughs> Well, we met up with the other two dudes, which are his brothers. They look a whole lot better than he does, for sure. Um, and we are headed down. The other guy is supposed to be down where I dropped a pin for, um, to start out, you know, start hunting from that area. Hey, this thing, God's creation. It's a beautiful thing, it's the money maker. It's the money maker. So anyways, yeah, we should be down there and old crippled up me, it'll take a while, but we'll probably be down there in, I don't know, what, a couple days? Probably, <laughs> and Trump killed all the bears, so. Yeah. Yeah. killed all the bears? Trump. Who's Trump? Trump. Trump, President Trump. Trump. Blame Trump. it on him. Yeah. How did Trump kill the bears? Because every bad thing is Trump's fault. Every bear in here is dead because of Trump. Go Trump! Well, we've been hiking for a while. Those guys are animals. They can really go. I gotta get up one more ridge. All right, I was up on the perch. I just spotted a bear. Guys, we're getting ready. Get up here! Come on! Wake up! Come on, guys. Get your rifles. I... You've got a rangefinder, right? Yeah, he's got one. He's got one. Just bring your rifle. Come up. Wake up. Get your shoes on. All right, I didn't have time to even look at that thing hardly. He's a beautiful cinnamon. And um, I think he's about 400 yards. So the guys are right on my heels. Woke him up. We're gonna go try to make a play on this thing. See you in a bit. What is he at? 304, perfect.
Rolled him. him. Rolled him. You got him? Rolled him. Sweet! Yeah. Straight from, straight on from the front, man. <sighs> straight on from the front. Thanks for the earplugs, but I forgot to put them in. <laughs> Shit. Is that your first bear? First bear. Awesome, man. First Western critter, right? Dude. <laughs> Whoa! Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. Wow, I didn't see it. Wow. <laughs> you rolled him. That straight on shot is death. I mean, it just goes right. It shocks me. All right, take back what you said about the odd six. Okay, I like odd six. I had to listen through an hour and a half of odd six hate last night. That was, that was awesome. We just got a bear. We just I got believe a bear. Like, rolled. He a rolled, beautiful dude. brown. All right, I got to get my boots on if you guys could wait. He rolled, there. didn't he? Do you, yeah, he straight rolled. Oh, he, dude, we can we can review it on the video, but he, he rolled. He, you, I mean, it pushed him. And hey, you got it on film, dude. That is awesome. I hope I did. <laughs> I can't. Were you ready? It? Like three, three yep. thirty. Yep. What time is it? It's I don't know. I went to sleep in the shade over there Speaking while I was early. trying to, and it was pretty cool. I was. The, and I'm like, dang, nabbit, I got it. I was sleeping, and Matt comes and hits me up. He's like, dude, it's still three thirty. <laughs> You just got a beautiful brown. That's so awesome. A beautiful brown. <laughs> hey, where's my plugs at? Right here. Thank you, but you guys rock. Dude, oh, thank man. you so much. Hike clear we into here. We shot this one. <laughs> <laughs> first day, roll a bear. Yeah, I wasn't even expecting day. like the action to start till like five or six tonight. Oh my gosh. They are headed down. I can't keep up my hips a little bit. Not good. And they should not wait for me. Oh. Heck yeah, bro. Nice. Wow. Don't let him run me over. <laughs> oh, he's a lot bigger than I thought. That's a nice bear. That's a nice bear, dude. Look at the black around his eyes. <laughs> it looked like a darker stripe down the back. But well, I can little, see that. There's yeah. a little hint. Yeah. So would, would you call that a chocolate or a cinnamon? It's, it's pretty close cinnamon. to cinnamon. Yeah. That's a, I mean, chocolate's more like the legs, you know, where it goes darker. Gotcha. Um, that, that's pretty cinnamon. I mean, it's not blonde, yeah. but that, they don't get any prettier. I that mean, really, you, this underneath would be more blonde. They, they just don't get any that's so that's so cool. that, yeah, like I said, that's about as big as they get. And then once they get older, they'll start wearing and flaking up the sides. <laughs> awesome. That's so cool. Wow. wow I'm never skin that bear. Yeah, it does look steeper out there. It does look steeper, yeah. But if you've never skinned out a bear, I only skin bear for special people, so you're on your own. <laughs> And we shot it off of them rocks. A couple hours later, the guys were glassing off of the perch, and I headed down a different ridge, and bingo. I just seen a bear. Another one. Two for today. We killed a lot earlier. And there's a black down over the edge. I got a hold of the guys. It, it might be too late to get on him tonight. They're, they'll be down here quick. I hollered at him. I went on the backside so he wouldn't hear me and hollered at him. Um, one of my buddy's brothers went down right above him. But the wind is, there's a thunderstorm moving in and the wind is coming up this draw. So I don't think that there. Don't smell them at all. So we might try to make a play tonight. If not, we'll be on, you know, in this basin in the morning, hopefully. He's right down in there, if you can see that. See that tree that's falling down across the rocks down? Yeah. Just come this way about 20 yards and up the hill, right to the edge of the brush. He's right at the top of the brush. Yep. Going hot. What's that? He's going hot. You were way up above him. 
about two feet over his back. Don't shoot on me, get in new range. I see him in the brush. Yep, I see him in the brush. He must be closer. You're shooting pretty steep You're downhill. You were every bit two feet over his back. You want to try my rifle? Oh, let me pull in one more with this one. Yep, hold, dialed, dialed hold two feet lower. There, there he is in the brush. See the black? See him coming out? Upper, upper, upper lower. Yep. Uh, is he coming lower. out? He's still at 424. He's coming out right up against those rocks, dude. You should be able to see him with your scope. He's going to be wide open here soon. Is he below that brush pile where he was? Yep. Oh, no. Yep, yep, yep. So you need to make sure that you're rock solid. Should I hold the four MOA on him? No, two feet lower than what you held before if you were comfortable. I don't know. I'm second guessing that. Try, dude, try my rifle. It'll hit where, where yeah. you fell right, it to. Yeah, dial it in. Okay, go for it. Be prideful. Here. Go for it. Should I shoot her? No, I, I, I have confidence in this. I shot this at 400. All right, I'm going hot again. I'm going to hold the 400 MOA again. Hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You see him by that tree? Yeah. Just a second. Whoa, whoa. Way over him. Two feet over him. Dude, you've got to hold lower. has got knocked off then. Well, guys. Pretty disappointing for Jonah. I was per He was so confident. He's been shooting so good at 400 yards and got a new gun for it this trip and everything. And I, I, pretty sure you'll be able to see on the big screen that both shots were good left and right, two feet high both times. So we're gonna have to check his gun in the morning. He's, he's bummed, I mean, I think the one guy shot 200 rounds practice before he come. And Jonah, I think he was, I think he said in the hundreds, in, in the, you know, 100 rounds area. And, but stuff happens. I mean, scope can get bumped. That's obviously what's up. So it wasn't that steep a downhill, really. About 15 degrees, so. It's not gonna make a huge difference. Anyways, it was a really good first day. Disappointed for Jonah, but Matt got that just gorgeous cinnamon bear. yesterday morning we were hiking in but we had yesterday evening so day two here and we were headed down a ridge Matt's gonna bring his bear to the creek and get it in some good bags and soak her down in there keep her cool it's supposed to get decently warm today so uh, Joan and I are headed down just spotted one. Should I change for the bed rules? But he is really moving. I mean, he is cruising. Should I go ahead and I change it around? Um, let's get down there first. He's quite a ways. First bear of the morning. Looks like a good one. We're gonna try to keep track of it. And this may be a long hunt. I'm 
Well, we got within 400 yards of this bear, or where we last seen him. Last time we seen him, he was right at the the bottom of right there. So we think he's just hanging out. He was headed to the left, hanging out in there. So it's just a waiting game. If he would ever spot it, we'd get this thing over with, you know? <laughs> well, we've been sitting here for a few hours and Jonah's gonna hike back to camp and get Matt up over the top and uh, quite a ways. He'll probably be a couple hours before he gets back. And I'm just I'm just gonna stay on the lookout. We still think he's he's right over there and I think he is the way he ran into there it seems like he knows it knows it well and that's his hide hiding area so um, they'll come back for the evening and I'm gunless right now, but this is their hunt, so. Well, the guys are back. I've been sitting here pacing around most of the day. It is 2.45 pretty much, and we are going to try to stick it out for the evening here. Um, the guys pack camp. They pack my camp, Kind Souls, um, down here, so we're going to reposition and probably just keep working down this drainage yep. hunting yeah. as we go. Two more days left to hunt, so, so we're gonna make the most of it. Yep. And uh, I think Matt just went into the draw, but he's headed over. He's gonna go sit on that point tonight so we can see up that draw. And we're just gonna stay put on where this bear went over here, where we think he's still at. over the ridge. You got another one in. There he goes over the ridge. He, he's on the ridge right now. You got more shells, sir. He's going over. <laughs> we'll get him tomorrow, man. Stinking day. We never saw him move in the brush, stand up, stretch, nothing. And what? It's only. It's 8:03 right now, so it ain't far from sunset, really. I mean, he didn't get up till an hour before dark, dark. <sighs> we just had the gut feeling. To just, I mean, to just wait him out. And we're both go-getters. Typically, we're on the move, and he was there all stinking day. That hurts. <laughs> well, morning of day three in here. Two and a half, whatever you want to call it. The moon has been gorgeous, just big full moon. 
We're kind of perched up on these cliffs here. We have got, it is 3.30 in the morning and we are going to roll out here pretty soon. I'm going to try to get down, go back down to the creek and then go back up another hill where that bear went last night. We got junk all over the place. <laughs> we gotta pack up. It's a little rougher than normal because uh, we were about to sleep last night and Jonah seen a bunch of UFOs and we, didn't, we thought the world was coming to an end. Guys, guys, look at that, look at that, look at that. He's hollering up Matt's way. I thought some moose was gonna take Matt out. I got his gun, but he can't hit nothing with his gun, so I didn't even grab that, but... Anyways, I don't know if it was a bunch of satellites or what, but there was a big string of... string of things going across the sky, but... Anyways, we're gonna start rolling up and head out. Gorgeous morning. We are hiking up <clears throat> where we seen that bear last night. Go over the ridge. This guy Matt here is an animal. He hiked in long ways yesterday for water multiple times. And packed my camp over. Jonah's coming up over this ridge. Well, that's where we spent the night. And then we down that ridge, down to the creek, down across and then up over here. So we are going to head out this ridge and see what we see. Uh, man, the sky is pretty. That's incredible. recording do not hit the record button again to make sure that you are recording or it stops recording I wasn't recording I got a bear I wasn't recording I'm serious crap Did you forget to hit record or? yeah Stinking, I forgot. Thank you guys so much. Is he, did you hear him moan? No, but he's, he's not moaning. Oh, I'm sick. I did that once before. Dude. In Arizona. It's okay. I zoomed in, I'm all ready to go, and I forgot I was recording, and I pushed the record button. So you can hear me. Wait, 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 wait. I settle in. Shake it off, dude. It's okay. We got a bear down. Yeah, but... Dude. I watched. I watched him drop in my screen. Yeah, I did too. I mean, I watched him drop, and I don't. I don't I have it. I'm bracing myself for that muzzle blast, but I held it together long enough to, to see. Guys, him thank you so much for your patience. What a perfect little green patch. He's just laying there on his stomach, gorging himself, just laying there. Oh, <laughs> you know how good that feels. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine. After. Mm, 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 mm. 
that shooting off of sticks, that's as far as I'd want to shoot like this. It's so hard. That's what dreams are made of for filming. You gotta let your, let your sticks go forward. I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I was shaking like I was doing four MOA on him. Oh. And you I, shot him high in the backbone above the guts. I'm pretty sure. I saw it on the screen. There's down angle, though, that it went and, and did stuff. He's not moving. Like, I can still see his paw. Well, let's go look at him. Let's just take it in for a little bit. All right, I'm going to eat some breakfast. <laughs> you could peek over into that drainage. There might be another one over there. The pressure is off. It's off. 634. Dude, I got a bear. Sick. No, you're... It's not... It's okay. It would have been awesome. You still got footage of him, right? Yeah, I've got footage of him, but... Yeah. Eeyore. You know, Eeyore? Dude. Probably gonna rain today. Probably won't see any bears. Yeah, I had a pastor call me Eeyore in front of the whole congregation. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't be like Eeyore or David. It's the same thing. <laughs> if I had been prone, I would have shot way sooner. I just... There was, was no hurry. Yeah. There was literally yep. no hurry. And I calmed down. I was as calm as I could be under the circumstances. That's a beautiful bear. He's a deep chocolate. Matt, it's, oh David, it's okay. <laughs> It'll still make an epic video. Yeah, but I've packed this stupid camera around. And you got videos of me missing. <laughs> That's what the world's gonna know of Jonah. Well, at this point, you can show the world the misses. Oh, you know what's gonna happen is my buddy is gonna say, oh, you really didn't kill it because the shot's not on camera. Matt shot it. I'm gonna get all sorts of bull crap. <sighs> Oh, oh, there he is! He's gonna bite you. He's, He's gonna, gonna bite him. you. Whoa! Oh my word! That's a good bear. That's bigger than I thought. Thank you, David. Yeah. Never done it without you. Oh yeah, you'd have been you'd have been tagged out by now. Bear. It's like I thought. He's got he's got water right there, 15 yards. There's water trickling he down. Here. He, just he, lived here. he just is it a boar or a sow? It's a boar. He was peeing when we walked up. How how big do you think he is? That's a good bear. That's a big bear, dude. That's a massive bear. He forgot to spit out what he was eating there. He didn't have a chance. That's what they do in other countries is put grass in the mouth. Yeah. Their, their last, last meal. So thankful to be here. And just so thankful for my buddies, for David putting in all the hard work and not sticking with me. Just so thankful for this bear. It's, a, it's an awesome country. Just couldn't ask for better guys to do it with. Just insane time. It's a brute. Pretty awesome. Thanks, guys. These guys have worked hard. They deserve every bit of what they've got. 
so nice of them to let me come on their hunt. Well, at this point in the trip, we needed to hike the bears up into the snow to get, the, get them cooling off. They had taken a cinnamon and a really nice brown. Gorgeous bears, um, phenomenal hides this year. Uh, cold spring and a little bit of a late winter and they haven't rubbed up yet. And so anyways, I took those up so they could go on the evening hunt and I needed time to um, reflect and, and thank the Lord um, for everything. Eight days before the hunt, I was, I couldn't walk. My, I have hip issues and my, my hip was completely out and I was immobile, I couldn't move. And I was so disappointed. And at that point, you know, thinking, I'm not gonna make it on the hunt. And God knows best, he always does, and his timing is perfect. And anyways, as I was packing the, the hides out, you know, reflection of times in the past, one story comes to mind. I, I had a client a few years ago that he had booked an elk hunt with um, Idaho Whitetail guys and, and who I worked for. And right before the hunt, he got his foot. His whole leg went down in a, in a green um, auger. And very, very amazing Christian guy. And uh, anyways, about an hour and a half into them, you know, cutting his leg out, he, he passed out. And when he woke up, he said there was just light just beaming in his face. And he was so excited. He was, he was there in heaven. And he looked down and he saw the walls of the ambulance. And he says his heart sank. He's never been so disappointed in his life. And anyways, he came hunting with us two years later. I had him as a client. I was I was blessed too, and um, he had one leg and a and a um, titanium leg, a fake leg, whatever it is. And and um, I I built a cart um, out of a old an old game cart and um, made a seat out of some forming plywood, put some couch cushions on it, and I would pull him about a mile and a half into this um, area where we were elk hunting. And um, when I would do it, it, you know, it'd be in the dark in the morning, he had a buddy with him, it was a two-on-one hunt. And I mean, the doctors told me a while ago I'd be in a wheelchair if I didn't slow down from my, from my injury. And, and I did slow down quite a bit. But anyways, I'd go in and I haven't told anybody this, I don't think, but I'd be bawling my eyes out, pulling for all I was worth. And I just encourage you guys to, to get out there and live life, you know, get away from the, the everyday grind and, and go do it to the fullest. Um, he was such an incredible man. He, he told me one time when I, I think the third or fourth day when I pulled him in, he says, I know a couple active duty Navy SEALs, and he says, they don't hold a candle to you. And that meant a lot to me, but it's all in God's strength. And I was hurting packing those hides out, but I wouldn't have had it any other way. Thank you guys for letting me come on the hunt. Well, day two or three, I don't know, two and a half is coming to a close. We got that bear this morning and I hiked everything. I hiked the two bear hides. They have left some meat here. I hiked the two hides almost to the trailhead and then came back. I seen three bears on the way back. I think they're up this drainage here, um, up on a rock. I shot my pistol three times and hollered up there if they wanted to come down and shoot that one that I seen just up around the corner but they haven't showed yet so hopefully they'll turn up something tonight but they don't got the camera with them so um, we'll see what happens I was laying down to take a nap and I just heard a shot I'm pretty sure I had heard the bullet hit too 
they're up on that rock where to They're hooping and hollering. I think we got bear number three down. And I know where Blackie is, so we might be able to get Blackie tomorrow. We missed him, I don't know, a couple days ago. So I, I, they're hooping and hollering. I bet they got Peterbilt. I bet they got him. Yeah! That is steep, but he is pumped up. He's got to go up into that chute. He's going to try to roll him off because it's not safe up there to do anything. And then we'll see what happens from there. It's a gnarly country. It's steeper than it looks in the camera. He's been training hard for this. That guy is cruising up that hill. That was crazy. He was up there for quite a while and then I look over and just see black sailing off the cliff and just the loudest thud. What in the world? <laughs> At least I was over here watching. That's insane. That bear was right up there across that horizontal log, he said. And I was just over here and he came flying down off. Pew, down right by that stump. Just launched into the abyss. What craziness. It's just, Matt's doing good. It's not really safe over there though. Woohoo! He found him, thank you Lord. Man, what a wild ride. I'm now on the other side. I wanted to come help him look. Oh my. Good work, Matt. He's got Peter built. I'm gonna head down there and celebrate with him. Where'd you find it? I found it right there below the cliff where you said it was. Okay, yeah. right by that dead stump? Uh, no, it was actually, it would have been to the right or to the left of where you said it. Down further? Uh, it was just farther that way. I saw something black right before I hit the ground and then just thud. Well, I rolled a rock right before you yelled. Okay. And so I thought it was that rock. I saw something black with legs twisting through the air, but. I couldn't hear you. It was horrible. I couldn't hear you at all. Yeah. So. That. That's horrible. Do that again. Dude, you went down a face. That was, that was like, stupid. You bat. Yeah. Like, I, it, I could not. At one point, I could not go back down. There was no way. I, I don't know how you made it down that chute over there. I wasn't even going to attempt that. That was stupid, dude. I mean. He's probably, I mean, he's like maybe 100. 150? 130. Huh. That water's way down there. He's got bushes and a bear on his back. What a crazy nut. There is Peter Belt. Sweet. Second bear. <laughs> You guys are hammering that, hammering them down. Well, it's morning of day three. We are headed back in quite a bit further. Try to turn up one more bear, hopefully. Breakfast country is the best bunch oh, of guys God. ever. You we're guys gonna, are we're gonna wish we had die hard. <laughs>
I've shot mule deer back in here that are 12. One was a 12 hour pack, one was a 13 hour pack. I think this is gonna be like a 20 some hour pack. What have you done, Jonah? <laughs> oh yeah, the Sasquatch. <laughs> Princess fear me. Is that number 10 bears we've seen? I think it's number 10. Guys, this is this is I won't tell you. This is the trip of a lifetime. <laughs> 87 yards! You know, what did I say? I, I came over the hill to blur bear, like immediately. I mean say, I wanted to shoot one far, one close. This is close. We are packing out. Well, Jonah's packing out his bear. And we are pretty zombified. We've been in the backcountry with very little sleep and hiking pretty hard for apparently too long. Because <laughs> the jokes are getting lamer and lamer. <laughs> We're running out, but about anything's funny right now. So, we got probably, what, a mile and a half to camp? Uh, yeah. It's about that. And then, camp is way down here so old Jonah here though he's always got to go one ridge further one ridge further and pretty soon he ends up on the river never know what you're whatever see. but he did tag out you know Two bears a piece on their back. Those guys are remarkable. <laughs> <laughs>